Good morning. I'm George McCraney. I have offices in Douglas and Valdosta, Georgia. I'm an attorney. I've been practicing DUI, criminal defense, uh, serious personal injury, and family-based immigration law now for over 20 years. And I wanted to tell you about some of the things that I've seen in the past, some of the things that I've seen happen. And one of the things I want to talk about is really some of the worst legal advice I've ever heard an attorney give. And it's, I want you to understand, this is not legal advice for you, okay? This is bad legal advice that I heard an attorney give years ago, and I wanted just to pass it on uh, so that you have an idea of what you don't want to do, okay? And I've seen some people and some lawyers do some foolish things, uh, but some of the things they do are, are downright stupid, okay? Now, this will happen in a uh, domestic violence case. And I heard the attorney tell his client who'd been charged with a domestic violence charge to tell the, the, the victim in the case not to show up to court. And if the victim didn't show up to court, then the case would be dismissed. Well, here's the thing. Uh, that's wrong advice. That's bad advice on many levels. Okay, many levels. Uh, that lawyer, not too bright to give that, that advice. The first thing is, you don't tell a person, you don't advise a person that's been charged with a crime to commit a second crime in order to get out of the first crime. I mean, that, that just doesn't make a lick of sense. I mean, if you do that, then as the defendant in the case, you're opening yourself up for charges for witness tampering, obstruction of uh, justice, uh, and you're setting yourself up and more st and, and additional charges, and you're setting yourself up uh, for further prosecution uh, that's just not smart at all. Now, back when I was a prosecutor for the state of Georgia, uh, back in the middle 90s, if we had this happen and we had a, a victim that didn't show up for court and they were under subpoena, and subpoena means that you are basically under penalty, that if you don't show up, the judge can, can go get you and cause you a penalty. And that's what we would do. We'd ask the judge to send and basically send law enforcement to pick up the victim to bring them in so we could get them in court, okay? And then the victim would be in trouble with the judge for whatever penalty the judge wanted to impose. So, I mean, it's not a not a good idea to follow that kind of advice and not a good idea to give that kind of advice. Now, if a victim chose of their own free will not to show up to court, then that's their choice to make. That's their decision. That's what they want to do. If they do that, then they have to uh, except whatever penalty the judge is going to give. I mean, and that's what they do. That's their own volition. Okay. But it's not the person charged with the crime committing additional crimes in order to try to get out of the first crime. Okay. It's just not happened. So, uh, that, that just doesn't make a lick of sense. I thought that was some of the, the most foolish advice that I'd ever heard uh, an attorney give. And like I say, this was years ago. And I, I just wanted to point that out that, if you're in a situation where you've been charged with a crime in Georgia, uh, my advice is that you get an experienced attorney that knows what they're doing and gives, you know, good advice. They're not, you know, fresh out of law school or coming in from practicing, you know, in another jurisdiction, maybe a federal jurisdiction or something like that, or federal court or military court or something. Get an attorney that knows what they're doing that's been doing this in Georgia for a long time and has experience, and then they'll give you advice that actually helps you. Because this advice, if it was followed, would actually hurt that person, okay? Now, if you got any questions, feel free to give me a call, or you can message me. I'll be glad to get back in touch with you. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to add them on the video. If you would like to see additional videos, we have a YouTube channel. It's got a lot of informational videos on it and educational videos. Same thing on our website, McCraneyLawFirm.com. Okay. Thank y'all. Enjoy talking with you.